Yeah, he was too, like, no! I didn't say that. Maybe, did maybe did you notice? Know. Yeah, I noticed. He did, didn't notice. He didn't notice. He didn't notice. Who's that, John Anik? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, ah. Oh. Like, Listen. Maybe if I don't say anything to him. Maybe, we'll tag him on the video. Maybe, maybe he'll uh, maybe he'll say it to somebody else. It's alright. By the end of the night after Gaethje and Barboza fight, he probably won't yeah, know whose blood is who. <laughs> but uh, another big win for you tonight, Kevin. You know, uh, on a really nice streak here. Just what's clicking for you right now, and how do you feel about your performance tonight? Uh, I was really happy about my performance, man. It was a very technical fight this time around uh, because he's such a. I uh, saw, learned that he was a very dangerous wrestler, grappler, and I had to stay away from that clinch, away from his wrestling. That's why I kept those sharp, uh, pinpoint, accurate jabs at him and dropping some right hands every now. And then. Uh, couldn't get into the kick and exchange because you know good wrestlers are even when to take them down. So I uh, kept it very tactical and precise this time around. Yeah, definitely. Did he do anything that surprised you in there, or was that more or less the fight that you thought he, it would be for him? He was uh, he was trying to find his way in, but I was uh, staying tight and uh, good, accurate hands. Uh, he was taking uh, he was jumping, throwing a bunch of fancy techniques here and there, but uh, nothing I wasn't ready for. Yeah, for sure. Having already done this, I mean, uh, is it getting easier? Are the nerves uh, less as you go forward in your career in the UFC? Honestly, uh, since fight number one to fight now, I've had the same feeling. The same feeling always stays with me, never goes away. And that's how I like it. It keeps me, gets me ready, keeps me on point. You know when I have to go out there and put on a show, no matter for, for who it is. But, you know, I'm in the UFC, so that's, that's I, have to, I have to come ready every time. You talked about aiming for the, the top 15, one step at a time, obviously, but does anyone in particular stand out? Uh, nobody in particular. To me, they're all numbers. They give me top, give me number 15, and I work my way down to number one. No offense to any of the top 15. Yeah. <laughs> Ideally, when would you like to fight if you got that matchup uh, against? Man, as soon as they guys. clear me to get back in there, no injuries, no 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 damage, so I'm ready to go again. You know, the the second they say, hey, uh, I got to fight for you next week, I'm there. You know, an opportunity like this you can't pass up. You have to go at it every day, every second you can, as hard as you can. Uh, you want to leave a mark. You want a statue of yourself outside the Philly arena. That's what you want. That's what you're aiming for. We kind of joked earlier about you, know, you can just blame it on Gagey uh, Barboza later. But, I mean, is it exciting to be part of a card with a fight like that at the top? Absolutely, man. Uh, those guys are world-class strikers. They're top of the game. You know, they're, they're contenders. They're ranked. And uh, to be to be on the card with them, you know that's 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 an honor for me. But uh, you know I'm looking to be the headliner next time. How you see that one going? Ah uh, man, uh, I'm gonna give it to Barbosa, man. He just he's really an uh, uh, accurate striker, and uh, he he doesn't take a whole lot of damage like uh, like Gage does. And a big win here in Philly. How do you celebrate? Are you going for a Philly cheesesteak or uh, going for a Philly cheesesteak? Maybe running the steps at the at the, the Rockies and going to see the Rocky statue. That's that's the three things I want to do. Eat a Philly cheesesteak. Go run the steps and then go take a selfie with the Rocky statue. Uh, maybe shout, Adrian, you good? Lacey, I love you, baby. You gotta post that on social media. Absolutely, absolutely. You're in Philly, why not go see the Rocky statue? Awesome, thank you, Kevin. Hey, no Congrats, problem. Man. I wanna thank all my friends and family, my girlfriend, Lacey, who made it out here to see, uh, see me, my brother, Cody, John, and uh, Rafferty. Hey, thank you, man. You my, you my. My Navy buddy, buddy. I uh, love you and thanks for coming out. Thank you. Congrats, Kev. Congratulations. Hey, thank you guys.